Have you ever wondered why leaves change color in the fall? Paper chromatography is a great technique to separate out all those hidden colors that are usually covered by the green chlorophyll in the summertime. By using paper chromatography, we can separate out all the different pigments that are in the plant leaves that are used as accessory pigments in the process of photosynthesis. We get to see these accessory pigments in the fall because the green chlorophyll is broken down, revealing what was hiding underneath the whole time. For this lab, you will need some leaves to draw the pigment from, chromatography paper, a mortar and pestle, about 100 milliliters of acetone, toothpicks and tape, and some test tubes in the test tube rack. Prepare your filter paper strips, leaving about an inch of clearance just above the bottom of the test tube. You'll want to tape the toothpicks to the top of the filter paper strips so they can rest on the very top of the test tubes, letting the strip hang inside. Once you've prepared your strips, Draw a line with a pencil about an inch from the bottom of your paper and draw a pencil dot in the center of the line, indicating where you will dot the pigment. Now it's time to prepare the leaves you're going to be separating the pigment from. Add your leaves to your mortar and pestle along with a little bit of sand for grinding and cover the mixture with a bit of acetone just to make the whole thing moist. Grind with your mortar and pestle for about 10 to 20 minutes until you have a concentrated solution of your plant pigments. The longer you can grind, the better solution you'll get. Using a capillary tube, dab a dot of your mixture onto the pencil dot that we marked on the paper earlier. Letting it dry between each application, continue dotting on the same spot until you have a highly concentrated spot of pigment on your paper. Here you can see a lightly pigmented spot on the paper. Try and dab it a few more times so that it's darker and more concentrated. Next. Pour acetone into the test tubes so that it barely touches the bottom of the filter paper once it's inserted into the tube. Depending on how long your strips are, it's about a half an inch of acetone at the bottom of the test tube. Here you can see the acetone just touching the bottom of the filter paper strip, but not hitting the pencil line with the pigment, which is higher up. And here you can already see the acetone starting to wick up the paper towards the pigment. Once your test tubes are ready, Insert the filter paper strips so the bottom is just touching the acetone salt. The acetone will wick up the paper using capillary action and carry the pigment as it moves up the filter paper. Here we tried many different samples. You can see the leaf pigment in the center, highlighted. As the acetone wicks up the chromatography paper, we can see the pigment start to separate into distinctly colored bands. The further you let the acetone climb up the filter paper, the more separation you will get. Once the acetone has traveled almost all the way up the paper, remove your filter paper and let it dry. Here we can see two distinct bands of color, a green band and a yellow band. Would you have expected there to be yellow from the dark green solution we started with? Now you know how to reveal the hidden colors within leaves. This is a great lab to run during the autumn when you can see the changes happening before your very eyes. Mm -hmm.